How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, this is going to be the Pittsburgh Pirates rebuild. If you guys are excited about the video, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you are new and enjoy the content. And as always, leave a comment for which team you would like to see next. So in the last video, I know I did say like our last rebuild with the Mariners. I'm pretty sure I said that we were going to start doing five year rebuilds and I do want to do five year rebuilds, but um, I have family coming to visit me this weekend so i need to pre-record a few videos which means i want to keep these next two or three rebuilds to a three-year rebuild style that way i can actually get these videos done edited and you guys do have some videos for the weekend so after the weekend future rebuilds will 100 percent be five-year rebuilds but like i said I want to get you guys some videos. I want to pre-record a couple. So this is why we are having a three-year style for this one um, rather than a five-year style. So with the Pirates, they're in a very tough division already. You guys, you guys know that they're in the Central. They have the Reds, the Cubs, the Brewers, the Cardinals. So it's a very tough division. And when you look at the team, they definitely have a couple question marks with them. So looking at this squad, you got Archer, Tyone, Williams, Musgrove, Cool, Kingham, Keller so there are some younger pitchers you know a pitcher I really like the looks of is Keller um but then outside of that you know question marks you know Kingham is he gonna be good cool is he gonna be good we'll have to see you know we got Ricardo Rodriguez no Richard Rodriguez Keone Kella Kyle Crick Edgar Santana Tyler Lyons Michael Feliz Neriano um Brault you got a couple other names here with some B potential but you know, I feel like these top guys are going to be the bulk of the bullpen. You know, the main guys to look out for. Plus, we have Felipe Vasquez. So, the bullpen's pretty strong. The closer spot's pretty strong. Even our starting rotation is pretty strong. So, I feel like pitching really doesn't need too many changes. Um, I feel like it's actual fielding that we're going to need to make some changes. So, Francisco Cervelli is okay for a catcher spot. I might go a little bit younger. We'll have to wait and see. I want to see how Josh Bell progresses this first season. We'll have to take a peek at how it goes um oops I accidentally hit b um second base we have frazier kramer and new newman um three you know good potential second baseman maybe move one to short we'll have to wait and see but um we may even need to find a new shortstop or second baseman depending how things go jung ho kong um i'm not sold on him you know for a 31 year old 87 overall i feel like we could just let cabrian hayes develop into that starting third baseman even let colin moran with his a potential become our starting third baseman maybe trade him for a you know maybe a shortstop since our starting shortstop is eric gonzalez obviously cole tucker in real life just got called up to the bigs he's looking like a you know like the real deal for a shortstop for the pirates um we also do have o'neill cruz who for the future could feature but we'll have to wait and see Corey dickerson i think is a good uh, left fielder for the time being same with starling Marte in center and right field, this is my biggest question mark. Is Gregory, Gregory, Gregory Polanco going to stay in right? I feel like for a player that's what, 8 million I think his contract is? Yeah, 7, 8 million. Do we keep him? Do we find someone that's a little bit better, a little bit younger? I think it's a make or break season in this game and also in real life. So looking at the team, there are some question marks, you know, like this 4-5 spot. Um, and then also, you know, like the shortstop area so let's make a couple trades i'll see you guys in a sec already tate sino so no i will call him tate and chad cool for jace fry i kind of just think one more bullpen arm is probably the best option that way we don't have to worry about it for the future um chad cool is kind of a pitcher i'm not really sold on i feel like we can get a better starter there's the first trade our starting shortstop eric gonzalez our starting catcher francisco cervelli and also Nick Kingham, you know, 27 with only a 71 overall. He does have a potential, so he could grow quickly. But again, I feel like we have four good starting pitchers right here. Um, trading him for a good, you know, starting catcher that we won't need to worry about for the future. I feel like that's a good move for us. Braxton Ashcraft, Jared Olivia uh, Oliva, and also Jung Ho Gong is going to be traded for Lance McCullers of the Astros. Like I said we need that like kind of fifth starter this gets us that fifth starter and also that allows colin moran to take over for third so i'm gonna make a couple moves to the lineup get everything situated for season one and let's get into it 
season one is a little bit of a feel out season i want to see how some of these players develop um obviously with the addition of mccullers i feel like our one two three starters are very good um four and five are question marks but i feel like they definitely could develop looking at the bullpen um, I'm feeling very confident with what we have, you know, a good, good couple lefties, good couple righties. I feel like the bullpen and our first three starters are very strong. Looking at the lineup, you know, there are some question marks, um, second base, shortstop area, you know, they're kind of, I don't know. I feel like Adam Frazier is a good, good second baseman, but like this, the shortstop is where I have the biggest question mark. I want to see how Gregory Polanco plays this season. And I want to see how Colin Moran plays. Um, he's got a potential at 26. He could definitely hit the 80s mark within a season or two, be a solid third baseman for us. Um, overall, my biggest question marks are that shortstop and right field spot. So I think, you know, maybe a third place spot in the wild card or not wild card in the central is kind of a, a good point to start with. If we can make a wild card spot, I'll be very surprised, but we'll have to wait and see. I'll see you guys at draft day. Already draft day. We have a late pick, which is a little bit unfortunate, but let's see. If I find anybody that I remember. Alrighty, so I'm looking at Tori Jean. Or um, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Max Sheridan. The thing is, we don't really need a second baseman. And the rest of the players that I have scouted. I mean, Eric Gibbons doesn't look too bad. But the rest of the players that I have scouted that are remaining are like closing pitchers or starting pitchers. Um, Campos doesn't look too bad. Um, Beltron doesn't look too bad, but we don't really need a relief pitcher so that's where i'm kind of at a point where i'm like do we go with the second baseman even though we don't really need him or what because the rest of the players that are available don't really look good so i feel like max sheridan um maybe even eric gibbons um jeff raymond i'm kind of hoping goes till the next round because i think he's going to be a good next round pickup um but i just i don't really know who to go with on this one like max sheridan looks like a little bit better fielder i believe it is let's just look because they're both second basemen so max sheridan and then tory jean so actually tory jean's a better fielder a little bit more speed we'll go we'll go tory jean i guess i don't i don't really know <laughs> we're gonna go jeff raymond i said if he would he stuck around i would pick him up his fielding isn't that great but his hitting stats look really good um Man, these 80, these like 80 potential players don't look that good. So that's why I've been, I've been kind of avoiding them. There just hasn't been a player that sticks out to me. Um, like you guys can just kind of see as I'm scrolling through them really quickly. Like their stats just don't look that great. Um, so just because he's one of the last ones, I kind of did say he looked pretty good. Campos. Um... more i look at it though i kind of want to lead towards eddie 80 80 65 65 60 oh this is tough we'll go with compos i don't know <laughs> i really don't know anymore eddie's still available we'll, we'll we'll take him um i guess you can't be too safe i know we take two closers when we don't need them we have felipe rivero but um, I feel like it's not a bad option to have those pitchers just in case we do need them down the line. Um, but the rest of the players are pretty lackluster from what I've seen. Rick Ortiz doesn't look horrible based on his like projected hitting stats, but we'll go. We don't need relievers. I'm trying to avoid taking relievers. So let me see if I can find somebody really quickly. I'll be right back. We're gonna take Peter Humphrey. I know it's what the third, fourth round already. We're taking a 70 like potential player. Um, his stats looked some of the best out of the players available. Like Rick Ortiz's contact numbers don't look too bad. His projected uh, fielding stats don't look too bad. Tall third baseman. Um, but looking at the rest, you guys can see that they're pretty meh. You know, like we don't. I, I want to take Jim Burt. I think he'd be a good pick, but we don't need the bullpen arms. You know what I mean? So. Um, I feel like it's just wasting a pick. We'll take Luis Marquez. Um, he's one of the last ones there. Let's see what our picks were like. So the second baseman, I was kind of torn between Max Sheridan or somebody else. He's 87 potential, 70 overall. 
not too bad um but yeah that was the one guy i wanted to show you let's get back to our picks so we went with tory jean um 69 overall good contact versus lefties um decent speed uh 89 potential so that's not bad um a little bit better jeff raymond's got 81 potential he's a 70 overall already good bat um which i like to see you know he's 22 so he should be good within a season or two 89 potential for sean Campos for our actual second uh second or third round pick that was a good pickup same with tom eddy so we got two closing pitchers who are gonna have some trade value who we could trade down the line um jim burt has got 76 potential he is a 73 overall his stats are actually pretty good already and then we have a 71 overall with luis marquez um 64 potential guy i'm not gonna pay too much attention to he does got a sweet mustache but that's really about it overall i'm pretty happy with the picks that we went with um i feel like jeff raymond could definitely be featured in this rebuild maybe even tory jean um maybe even one of these guys who knows um but so far so good with the picks at the deadline we are last in the central 22 games out 45 and 62 in the wild card 16 and a half we'll take a quick look at the team um man archer looks like he's having a rough outing but tyone's a 90 he's having a solid year good whip good era mccullers you know okay all right whips a little high but okay archer whips high era's high which is unfortunate to see uh trevor williams kind of the same situation era and whips high um and musgrove's whips a little bit lower but the era is high so looking at the bullpen keone kella yikes um same with edgar santana yikes uh kyle crick too hmm what's going on here you know what we're gonna do this Felipe Vazquez has got a high ERA too, so the whole bullpen questions for sure. Uh, Starling Marte is not really hitting the ball well. 232. Hmm. Frazier's hitting okay. Kramer, was, wish it was a little bit better. Corey Dickerson's doing pretty solid. Colin Moran's not doing that great. Perez is doing amazing. He's looking like a good pickup. Polanco might be a trade might be a trade josh bell's going up wish it was a little bit higher same with kevin newman um i feel like we got we got a lot of questions to be asked you know like some players just aren't performing well Let's see if we can get a good trade going all right steven um almaze almaze he's gonna be traded along with steve Barron, uh backup catcher that we have in the farm system and gregory polanco for michael conforto um i know conforto does well in rebuilds you can see he's hitting 340 um good contract new right fielder for us works out perfectly jose ozuna nick birdie and kevin newman he's just he's just not hitting the ball well 209 for brendan rogers looks like he's going to be a bit better of a shortstop for us it's an actual shortstop we're going to call him up to the majors i think we're going to do it next year um i'm going to let somebody else finish off this season i'd rather let him develop in the minors for at least one more year before we call him up there's no point in rushing him up so maybe just sign somebody for a season just to fill up the roster um let's just go with i don't even know uh i guess we'll go with ibar <laughs> just because he's available um this season's basically a wash there's no real reason to like have somebody that doesn't need to play so um plus it allows him to develop a little bit more uh so i feel like that's an okay trade it works out for us um let's we'll see how the rest of the season finishes out we finished the first season 69 and 93 clearly not good enough for the playoffs let's see league leaders conforto with ops so it looks like he was smashing the ball conforto won the hank aaron award and uh, we'll take a look at the standings last by a good amount 22 games we missed the wild card by about the same as well so season one it's looking like tyone's definitely going to be our um ace like those are amazing numbers lance mccullers like that's okay that's fine like that's a three maybe a two numbers chris archer though that's that's worrying you know he's going down might be a player I look to replace, uh, especially since we're paying him what? Four a year? That's actually not too bad. Four years, pretty good. Um, 
Musgrove's going up, so I'm hoping that he continues to get better. Trevor Williams. Potential's gone down. Stats are a little rough, too. Steven Brault. We'll see. We'll, we'll keep an eye on him. Kyle Crick had a pretty rough year. Definitely going to need to keep an eye on that. Same with Keone Kella. Jace Fry. You know, I traded for him hoping that he would be a strong lefty in the bullpen. Doesn't really pan out. Edgar Santana, same thing. Um, Richard Rodriguez. It's like the bullpen just completely fell apart. You know, I don't understand what happened there. Um, looking at the, the team, Starling Marte has gone down a little bit. Adam Frazier is going up, which is good. You know, that's that's a, that's a good sign. You know, left field's good. Second base is good. Conforto hit 321 on the year with 35 homers. He's good for right field. Colin Moran would we'll definitely keep an eye on him. I might give him another half a season. Salvi, good, good 265. Like, I obviously want it to be higher than 265, but good hitting catchers in a sim style franchise are very difficult to come across. Kevin Kramer, it needs to be better. Josh Bell, 285. Okay, all right, that's good. And then Eric Ibar was obviously just a filler. Um, let's look at the the prospects really quick. Keller's at a 72, so he's probably still another two seasons out. We're definitely gonna have to find a, a bullpen arm. Like I just can't rely on what we have. Looking at our farm system, Cabrian Hayes isn't too far off. Potential went down. What? All right, this is going to be something we need to keep an eye on. Cole Tucker's gone up a little bit. O'Neal Cruz has gone up four. Pablo Reyes is a 70. Swaggerty is a 65. Okay, so we do got some players to look out for. Brennan Rodgers is 77, so he's 100% or short, starting shortstop next season. Looking at the playoff picture, eh, you know, some, some names there. We'll go with the, I don't even know. I don't even know. The Brewers. I was actually going to say the Brewers. Uh, but I wasn't too sure. The Brewers and the Mariners in the postseason. So let's get into the season two. Let's see how things go. And uh, I'll show you some stuff as we go along. Exclusive negotiations. Um, Corey Dickerson. That's about it. Arbitration wise, these six got it. These guys did as well. Um, Moran and then Diaz. Looking at contracts um everybody should get one that's like kind of up here um so let me do that real fast and then we'll talk about free agency a little bit already looking at free agency um the top three aren't players i like i'm interested in marcelo zuna we have Corey dickerson so we're good there and when you look at the rest of the players available i don't really see anybody who interests me and actually helps out the team like we have a very comparable player in Starling Marte in center. First base, I want to see how Josh Bell develops. Adam Frazier at second's good, so Scooter Jeanette would be extra. Obviously, we could use a bullpen arm, but I'm not really looking to pay, what is it, seven million? Um, you know, four million for Jeffress is or Jeffress, Jeffries isn't bad. Um, he's going down in overall though. And then when you look at the rest of the arms, I'm not really interested in them. Catcher, we have Salvador Perez. So really, really, I don't really see anybody here who would actually go into the team and make us that much better. Um, so I'm gonna just gonna avoid everybody for free agency. Because I know he has good trade value, I'm thinking JP Crawford might be a player we take. The thing is, we have so many like fielders. I don't feel like it's extra. We don't have a backup outfielder. We do have Pablo Reyes who could do it, but Miles Straw is a player that's interesting. He's got a potential. I'm going to take Miles Straw. To start season two, we're going to trade for Fernando Romero of the Twins. You see his stats here. Per nines look really good. Um, and we're going to be trading Steven, Steven, Steven Jennings, uh, Chris Archer, and then Jason Martin. We do uh, have Miles Straw, which I will talk to you guys about. I'm pretty sure I mentioned him in the World 5 draft, but we do have him. We do have a couple other prospects for center field. So I feel like letting go of one center field prospect won't be too bad. I think that's the only trade we're going to make to start season two. I do have questions about the bullpen, but I think they should rebound. Actually, Edgar Santana worries me. Let me find let me find a trade for the bullpen. I'll be right back. Alrighty, Adrian Valerio. 
as well as Vicente Campos and Edgar Santana for Tim Meza. Meza. Um, stats look pretty good. He had a really good year last year. Might as well bring in another reliever. Like I said, he, you know, I feel like he might have had a bounce back, back, bounce back year. But I just can't be 100% sure. So we're going to go with this for the season. Tyone McCullers, Musgrove, Williams, Romero. You have Brault, Rodriguez, Kayla, Crick, Meza, Fry, and Velasquez. Um, and then the lineup currently looks like this. I might actually move. Josh Bell doesn't hit righties as well. So we'll do that. We'll kind of move Josh Bell a, a little bit lower into the lineup. Um, just so we don't like have any crazy bad things happen with his uh average or anything but we're gonna we're gonna rock with that the team looks pretty good bringing up brandon rogers looks really good uh on the bench we have these guys jeff raymond the guy we drafted last year is gonna be mlb ready right away we'll see how he plays um and so far so good we do have a couple other prospects to look out for uh mitch keller uh luis escobar um for bullpen arms not too much but we do have the two closers in campos and eddie um we drafted Tory Jean, who's a top 50 prospect. So maybe by season three, he'll be featuring. His power is not there, but overall, he looks pretty good. Brian Hayes, I thought about bringing him up, but I'm going to give him one more season. Uh, we have O'Neill Cruz, Brendan Rodgers as well, Cole Tucker. And you guys can see Miles Straw, Travis uh, Swaggerty. Um, it's, it's looking pretty solid. So let's see how the rest of the season, let's see how the first half of the season plays out. And I'll see you guys at deadline day. Uh, the CPU did pretty well. Uh, Jose Liriano, 63 overall, 94 potential. Not bad. 85 potential for John Watkins here. Uh, 75 potential for Salazar. Uh, 76 for Darnell Kidd. Um, you can kind of see their stats here. Nothing too crazy. And then Alonzo Felice has a real player picture, but obviously he's not real. Uh, taking a look at the standings at deadline day, we are 16 and a half games back. 51 and 58 and the wild card were eight and a half so a little bit better than what we were last year um looking at pitching it's looking like that's kind of still our issue uh we just something's not clicking with the team and it's uh it's a little worrisome that the bullpen is doing so poorly um jace fry our acquisition from the the white Sox, just is doing very bad miza is doing very well but like Kayla, Crick, Rodriguez, Brault, which is weird because normally Pirates relievers do very well. And I've even hired a new pitching coach that has new stats. So it's it's interesting to see. Jay Raymond not hitting the ball too well. Brennan Rogers is doing all right. He's up to an 80. You look at the rest of the team, you know, the, the bats are a little quiet. Some players are doing quite well. Um, Conforto, 265 is okay. 282 for Josh Bell is nice to see. Um, but kind of seems like a mix between pitching and like the bullpen is the bullpen and some bats are just not not cutting it so I'm a little worried so I'm gonna see if I can find a trade to kind of help it help that bullpen um, I'll catch you guys in a sec we're gonna go Jace Fry for Kevin McCarthy um, the stats are pretty similar between the two pitchers a um, little bit lower rated but we'll see how Kevin McCarthy does joining us here in pittsburgh we're gonna try to find one more arm because like just some of these guys have just been really disappointing so we'll see if we can find one more bullpen arm all right connor Yuselton and richard rodriguez for cam bedrosian we've picked them up before <laughs> whoa we picked them up before and uh, he actually did quite well when we did pick him up so we're gonna see how that goes um we're gonna let him be the setup man because he last time he was the setup man for us he was very good. So we got Kevin McCarthy now. We get. I'm. I'm kind of liking the way. I mean, McCullers has actually kind of been disappointing to this year. Um, everybody else is looking okay. Musgrove's a little high with the ERA, but I feel like he'll he'll definitely bounce back. Looking at the lineup now, maybe a new third baseman. Let's let's quickly see what Kid Brian Hayes is up to. 72 maybe trade moran see if we get cabrian hayes involved let's see does he drop he does drop in rating let's see if we can maybe find like a 
just someone to help us out while well, trading Moran. I do. I guess we're gonna go back to the Twins. Um, I looked at a bunch of left fielders because I feel like our left field is kind of an area that we could improve a little bit on. Um, 225 is just not good enough. He's going down in rating. He's 30 years old. Um, Corey Dickerson. So. Um, I looked at a bunch of other left fielders, and I just wasn't too interested in many others. So I'm going to go Eddie Rosario. Um, he looks pretty good. Um, the other player I looked at was the Rockies' David Dahl. And, I mean, he's a little bit younger. A potential. Maybe we do go for David Dahl. Uh, if we can maybe sneak in another pitcher somehow. See if we can sneak in a, like a young pitching prospect or something like that. Maybe like him, maybe him, uh, or just another prospect of some sort. Can we sneak anything in? Pat Valeka. Uh, let's see, let's see. Can we anybody, anybody at all? Nobody. We're not gonna get anybody out of this. Just David Dahl. Ah, I feel like we get a little bit more with. You know what? I've never traded for David Dahl. We're going to go with David Dahl. I've, I've, I, drew, I dragged that out a little bit too long. So that's that's going to be the trade. Um, cause Ryan Hayes is going to be joining us in the majors as well. He's going to get some time at third. Um, and then obviously David Dahl is going to take the spot. So that was, those are the trades for that part of the year. You know, Kevin McCarthy is going to come in. Cam Bidrosian. And then David Dahl. Let's see how the rest of the season finishes up. All right, 74 and 88. I feel like that's a little bit better than last year. We didn't finish last. But we we're still quite a bit away from, you know, where I want us to be. You know, I don't really understand where the team's going wrong. Uh, I feel like we have decent players. I mean, obviously, like having Cabrian Hayes, Jeff Raymond playing isn't the best options. But at the same time... You know, I feel like our pitching's really letting us down, like a lot. Like these two right here, our bullpen, just a lot of question marks, which is weird because I've mentioned before that normally the bullpen for the, the Pirates is like kind of an area I look to frequently because they normally do quite well. So I don't really understand why this isn't, you know, why the bullpen's doing so poorly. I really don't understand why it is. Um, so you guys can see the prospects, how they're developing and everything. You know, we have a lot of good center field prospects. Um, you know, our triple A is looking pretty good. We got a couple top 50 prospects, but you know, it's, it's looking like this off season, this is going to be my main concern, uh, for trying to get better. So you guys can see the playoff picture here. Let's just get through it. Let's see how season three goes because so far, this Pirates rebuild has been pretty rough. All right, we offered Kayla about $5 million a year. I'm very, very hesitant on offering that. Um, I guess we could keep Cave on the 40-man. Um, you know, he could be worth a little bit of a trade later. Uh, looking at arbitration. We'll, we'll give everybody arbitration besides uh, Kohler. And Franklin, everybody else will get arbitration. Um, contracts wise, everybody was basically offered one. And so when we look at the players available, like starting pitching, I don't really see anybody here that's going to make our team much better. Bullpen wise, kind of these guys right here, again, don't really see them making our team better. Plus, they're probably going to start decreasing in rating. Uh, Closing pitcher wise, maybe Ken Giles. He did have a rough year, so he looks like he's going downward. Um, Brad Hand is going up, but he's definitely going to want to be the closer. And we have Felipe Vasquez. Um, so we'll probably leave that. Real Muto is about the same as Salvi. We got Josh Bell, who's doing quite well. Second base, we have Frazier. Third base, we could use a bit of an upgrade. But a 32-year-old LeMayhew probably isn't the one I would go after. Um, this C potential guy, I'll offer him a one-year deal. Um, he's 19. You know, his potential could go up if he plays well throughout the season. 
Uh, looking at the rest of the players, we do have Brendan Rodgers, who's 81, which isn't bad. Left field, we just acquired David Dahl, so I feel like we're good there. Center field, we still have Marte, who might be a player I look to trade. And right field, we have Conforto. So again, I'm feeling like free agency really isn't going to bring us too many, like, play like it just doesn't look like a player or any players I would look to add to the team that's going to make us a better team. All right, to start season three, we're going to be trading for uh, Edubre Ramos. Um, oh, maybe Sir Anthony Dominguez. Yeah, we'll go with Dominguez. We haven't traded for Dominguez yet this season. We're going to add Luis Salazar to the deal. Uh, it was basically Kayla for Dominguez. And maybe we'll do that. We'll have Dominguez be our setup man. We'll do that. Um, and we'll kind of rock like this. I am kind of worried to keep leaving Brault there. It's just, it's so hard to find long relievers. So Mitch Keller still isn't good enough to be called up. But um, I'm hoping that starting rotation holds its own. Uh, maybe Jim Burt comes up and... Uh, yeah, let's, let's have Jim Burt be our long reliever this year. See how this goes. Um, maybe one of these two guys features this season. We'll have to see. Um... Looking at the rest of the squad, Tori Jean, not ready just yet. We got Kramer and Frazier still here. Raymond is here. He, you know, I mean, he hit 200 last year, but I feel like he'll have a pretty solid season this year. We're gonna let Cabrian Hayes play third. Shortstop still gonna be Brendan Rodgers. You signed me. You saw me sign this guy in free agency. Um, we also have O'Neill Cruz there. Cole Tucker. Uh, left field we got Dahl and Reyes. Center field, we got a we got a decent group right here. Um, I feel like Starling Marte is kind of a player I'm I'm kind of questioning because he did say he was dropping at the end of the season. Then we got Conforto, who uh, kind of cooled off at the end of last year, but we'll have to wait and see. So this is the team we're gonna put Burt up here, and we're just gonna see how things are. I, like I feel like this is a team that should be doing better than it is. So we'll we'll have to see. Um, I'll see you guys at the deadline day. Alrighty, draft picks pretty bad across the board. I'm gonna let them. I'm gonna let them go. But looking at the standings, we're sitting in third. We're only two games out in the central. In the wild card, we're a half game out. So it's pretty close um, with where we are. Looking at the team now, you guys can see how everybody's doing. David Dahl's looking really nice. 87. Marte's in 87. Frazier's in 87 as well. Um, Conforto, Conforto's still going up, uh, two, 274 with 25 homers, Josh Bell is actually looking really good, uh, he might be a, like one of the first basemen I start going to uh, for rebuilds, he just, he looks like he's developed really well, he's hitting 317, you know, he's a switch hitter, he looks pretty good, Salvi's kind of low on the hitting, um, but like I said, it's kind of hard to find good catchers that like, that actually hit, uh, Cabrian Hayes, 253, um, decent little prospect so far. Jeff Raymond is looking like a decent, you know, kind of bench bat for us um, in his limited plate appearances. So for a first round or a first season draft pick, he's contributed quite a bit. And then Brendan Rodgers really isn't hitting that well, which is surprising because he's got good hitting stats. So we'll keep an eye on that. Um, and you guys can see the rest of the team there. Let's look at pitching because that's been kind of our question mark. Jamison Tyone's a 99 unreal unreal stats trevor williams you know 3.5 era not too bad average whip with a 1.28 so he's looking decent there kind of sim very similar to musgrove his whip's actually really good 1.15 um similar era though he's an 88 so he maybe he moves up to the two spot um romero the era is kind of high um whips kind of high as well and mccullers maybe mccullers just isn't you know, a pitcher that we need. Maybe we need to find somebody else. Burt's kind of struggling here in this long relief role. McCarthy, kind of the same thing. Crick as well. Um, these two as well. Man, what is going on with our team? Are right, you for a trade to kind of help us get that wild card spot? We're going Vasquez, Agrazel, and Crick for Jose Castillo of the Padres. He's developed quite nicely. Basically, a lefty for a lefty in the bullpen. Crick just hasn't proved 
that he's he's you know capable of just being in the bullpen like normally he does well like i i normally don't have any issues with pirates relievers um from what i've seen in the like previous rebuilds but it's just looking like something's not clicking with them so um i'm still unsure maybe a new starting pitcher um so let's see what i can do we're going for broke here we're acquiring blake snell from the rays for mccullers mitch keller and lolo sanchez this basically clears house on the starting pitching but i'm thinking this is the move we need to really just go for broke on this season Alrighty, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave it like this you know the bullpen has some question marks but i think castillo coming in we're gonna move bedrosian to the setup spot snell really makes this like starting rotation look amazing the lineup is actually hitting quite well you know salvi's kind of low um and brennan rogers is kind of low but everybody else is what above 250 you know and only one player is at 250 everybody else is above like 264 which i think is pretty solid you know even our bench um you know two of our bench players are hitting pretty well as well so i feel like the offense is there we just gotta hope and pray the defense holds on so that's the trades for season three let's see how it finishes as you can see i was making sure my mic was on that's why i looked over here for a second because i muted it not too long ago um as you can see we made the postseason as a wild card team um which is awesome we 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 made those pushes like those moves to get like that last push and it seemed like it worked so let's see josh bell had the most hits and snell had the most strikeouts um looking at awards cy young to snell okay all right so that's good so looking at the oh the standings we missed out on the central by a game it was actually three teams right there like ooh, okay um and you can see we tied the reds for the wild card spot we're actually the third ranked team in major league baseball so looking at the pitching rotation um snell finished the season 18 and 6 294 era okay jameson tyone you know 15 and 11 321 era 1.09 whip that is phenomenal that's a good whip musgrove's a 90 you know you can see his era has definitely dropped his whip has gone down as well uh trevor williams Compared to previous years, um, his well, his ERA went up a little bit. His WHIP went up a little bit, but you know his stats are pretty similar across the board. Um, his strikeout numbers dropped quite a bit. Um, Fernando Romero is up to an 87. His ERA and WHIP went up, but you know for the future he definitely looks like a pitcher who's going to be re reliable. Um, Jim Burt, basically the same as Brault from previous seasons. McCarthy doesn't really seem like he's been a good pickup neither is sir anthony dominguez so this whole bullpen for the pirates this entire rebuild has been a huge issue um castillo's done quite well um that's good meza meza whatever his name is he didn't do well once we brought him in um bedrosian okay like that's good to see we actually had a player who was reliable and i think felipe vasquez had his best year no his second best year out of this rebuild so the bullpen which just wasn't good just wasn't good so let's look at our bench really quick um you know bench bench bats you know you can't really expect too much from them but starling Marte, probably in his last season um i don't think i'd bring him back 32 he's gotten worse since last season probably a player i would look to replace um second baseman adam frazier's consistent 29 um i think he's got a contract that expires i'd probably do like a two-year deal for him david Dahl, i would definitely bring back 289 or david Dahl, i should say his potential is going up his overall is going up he's looking like a few a future left fielder definitely definitely want to pick up and keep around conforto contract expires at the end of this year you know his his average has gone up from the previous year i'd probably do like another two or three year deal for him he's usually one of the better right fielders in the game josh bell amazing year this is definitely a player i would want to build my franchise around switch hitting first baseman his numbers have gotten you know better each year obviously he had a little dip last season in average but his op uh, on base percentage slugging ops went up so each year he's getting better so that's that's looking like a first baseman for the future salvador perez has gone up um even though his average has gone down so 
you know, kind of whatever, I guess. Uh, Cabrian Hayes, you know, in his first full season, 235 isn't great. You can see his hitting stats aren't amazing, but he should only get better. Um, Jeff Raymond is definitely pushing for a, a spot to potentially take over third base. You know, 373 on the year, more home runs and less at bats. He might actually be our starting third baseman for the future. Brendan Rodgers, his potential starting to go down, which is unfortunate to see because his stats look good. He's just not playing up to that caliber of a player. So we'll quickly take a look at, you know, some of our prospects. We don't really have any pitching prospects because um, we traded them all away. Uh, we do have these two. Tom Eddy isn't quite there yet. I'd probably give him another season before we bring him up to the majors. But he's looking like a solid, maybe setup man or closer. We also do have Sean Campos, who, same thing. His stats aren't there just yet, but another season or two, you probably got your closer and setup man set up for the future. You know, Felipe Vasquez, he might get traded. Um, that way, you don't have to pay a massive contract for a closer when you have two up and coming relievers. Uh, catcher, you know, you probably have Salvador for another three years. You got Jose Liriano, who's a potential 70 overall. Um, you know, you got these first base locked up. You're good for sure. Um, second baseman, same thing. You got Tory Jean, who his potential slowly going down, probably needs to be up in the majors. So do you trade Kevin Kramer or do you trade Adam Frazier? One of the two. Um, third base, like I said, we've got we've got that set. Shortstop, we got O'Neill Cruz coming up in the ranks, who he's looking pretty solid already. Cole Tucker really hasn't cracked that 70 mark, but he's not too far off. Left field, we're good. Center field for the future set. You know, Brian Reynolds, um, probably not MLB quality. Same with Jake Cave. But you do have Travis Swaggerty, who probably like two seasons will be really good. And right field, you got Conforto still. So overall, the team's looking a lot better than what we started with, especially since the first two seasons we were sub 500. Um, the bullpen is just my biggest question mark. You know, it's just not good enough. Um, so let's hop into this game against the Reds. I feel like if we do get a good outing with our starter, we should. We have Blake Snell. I'm very hesitant to see how this bullpen is going to hold up. Um, we definitely need to score first, um, which luckily only one run scored that inning. But so far, we're in a tricky spot. Blake Snell is just, we're down three runs. Um, it's just not looking good. Snell's already halfway through his energy. There we go. Josh Bell gets us back into the game. One run game now. Um, Marte. All right. Ties up the game. First and second. Can Josh Bell deliver? He can't. Maybe if Snell can get us through this inning, he does, which is perfect. Let's see if we can get him up to the plate. Strikeout. Strikeout. We do. We're going to pinch hit. Um... We're facing a righty, so you know what? We'll bring we'll let Kramer hit. He flies out, but that's alright. That's okay. Um What do we got? A couple a couple righties up in the righties up. I guess we'll go McCarthy. And okay, we got that. Alright. Marte doesn't get on. Neither does Frazier. Dahl strikes out. Lead off triple. Hmm. You know, we do have a we do have a good amount of lefties up. Sack fly to take the lead. We're gonna bring in Bredosian. Hopefully. Alright, so we get out of that. Bottom eight. Can we score here? We can't, so. Bedrosian gets us out of it. We are going to be facing David Hernandez. Bottom nine. We're down by one. We got Hayes Rogers combined 0 for 6 on the day and it's all coming down to a pinch hit at bat versus a righty it's looking like Raymond is probably ooh Jake Cave maybe actually um yeah we'll go Jake Cave can he keep the season alive he does all right do we have any speedy speedy runners on the <laughs> on the bench uh maybe Reyes 73 speed it's not that big of a a change so starling Marte two outs doubles couldn't get the maybe if we did that pinch run we would have gotten the run home Adam Frazier can he do it he walks it off 
and we're advancing to take on the Nationals. There we go. What a clutch at bat. All right. Uh, we're going to let Tyone go. We lose the first. We win the second. We win the third. And it comes down to another elimination game. All right. You know what? That was... Okay, that got a little tense at the end of that game. We're going to let Blake Snell go again. Um, you know what? He's only had one at-bat, two at-bats. Let's... Yeah, Cabrian Hayes isn't hitting too well the playoffs. So let's see if we switch it up, see what happens. Um, Snell, let's see if he does a little bit better than he did against the Reds. All right. Pretty quiet game so far. As I say that, they do score. Okay. Um, looking at their lineup, it's basically the same. Cordova looks like a new addition along with Grichik. Um, Still a one-run game, though. Strasburg is killing us right now. We're just not doing anything against them. We don't even have a hit. All right, here we go. Jeff Raymond delivers, and then Brendan Rodgers with the triple ties the game. Okay. Hit by pitch. Come on, Snell. No, not like this. Perfect. Gets us out of that bases loaded jam. Hmm. We're kind of... Man, what is with... Like, you're supposed to be an ace. And he's just... He's not pitching well. So, I guess we'll bring in Dominguez. Can he get us out of this jam? Bases loaded. We get one out. Fielder's choice. And you know what? Just to be safe, we're going to bring in Castillo. Gets us out of that. There we go. And then uh, nothing out of that. But... That's a that's good. That's good. We got out of it eighth inning. I probably should have let I probably should have taken out Castillo, huh? But okay, all right. Nothing, nothing. Double. Come on, Conforto. Couldn't bring the run home. So they're gonna bring in a pinch hitter. We're gonna bring in a righty. I guess. Bedrosian. Perfect. Top of the tenth. We got to get this started right. Double play. That's not getting it started right. Brendan Rodgers. Two-run bomb. Let's keep this inning alive. We're facing a righty. Let's go cave. A single. Another single. Come on, Frazier. Bases loaded for Dahl. Triple opens this game up. Another run scores. All right. It looks like, you know, we're, we're in a good spot now. Boom. There we go. We're taking on the Dodgers and the NLCS. Whew. Let's see how this series goes. We win the first. We lose the second, though. Okay, we got a 2-1 lead. 2-2. Oh, we're down to the elimination game to go to the World Series. Man. We've been cutting it close on a lot of these games. We're going to tie on on the mound. Brian Hayes is hitting 172. What about Raymond? He's hitting 200. I feel like Raymond's going to deliver for us, though. I feel like... He's going to... Okay, Frazier. All right. I was going to say, I feel like Raymond's going to deliver for us, but I guess it's going to be Frazier who delivers for us. Max Muncy. Really? All right. We do have a leadoff double, though. As I was saying, Raymond's going to deliver for us. He gives us the lead. All right. One run scores. It is... Oh, who is this Eric Gibbons guy? Gives him a three-run lead, but Frazier hits his second homer of the day. Gives us... Gives us another hope. Okay, we're within two. Man, our aces have just really been letting us down. You know, a lot of runs allowed, a lot of base runners. I feel like that, again, the pitching, you know, was it was a question mark going into this. But, you know, we're down three in this elimination game against the Dodgers, who are normally one of the better teams. Um, let's see if we can get out of this. We do. Rodgers, we're going to let... Okay, Dominguez. I was going to say, we're going to let him go another inning. See if we can uh, get us out. Okay, perfect. So, Dahl. Lefty, 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 lefty. Man. Solo shot. Man, really? So, we got to score four runs this inning. Or our season is over. Not the best of starts. And it's looking like that's, that's the year. Eric Gibbons, who is this guy? Because he killed us today. Where is he? Um, let's look at this Gibbons guy. Where is he? What was he, a third baseman? Eric Gibbons, he's a rookie. 77 overall, A potential. He doesn't look too bad. He actually looks really good. Okay. 
But uh, when we look at our team, though, I mean, a team that made the playoffs, almost won the division this year. We missed it by a game. You know, really, my only question mark was, you know, the third base spot definitely... You know, it's, I'm leaning towards Raymond might be taking over for Cabrian Hayes. He kind of let us down this year. Um, Josh Bell in the playoffs was kind of quiet too. Salvi. Um, but overall, I feel like you got a good good like core to build around. Josh Bell looks good going forward. Uh, David Dahl as well. Comforto. Jeff uh, Raymond. You got that second baseman. Uh, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Uh Tory Jean. You also have Kevin Kramer if Frazier doesn't work out. Um, so, I mean, that doesn't look too bad. You got Brendan Rodgers, who's 24, 8 potential, 83 overall. For the playoffs, he actually performed quite well. Um, but it's like the pitching. You know, a 5, almost a 6 ERA for your starter, you're, you're like your ace if Snell wasn't here. So, I mean, overall, you know, I feel like pitching is just a for some reason just a huge question mark because normally pirates pitchers do so well in a sim style franchise but this time it just didn't work out but um i feel like this team is actually pretty solid uh you gotta obviously find some new pitchers but overall i think things went well so i hope you guys enjoyed this pirates rebuild i'm sorry it wasn't five years like i said we would start doing but like i did say um I want to try to get a couple rebuilds uh, pre-recorded and edited because I do have family coming in this weekend. I'm not going to be able to record, so I want to try to get a couple videos out for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content. And as always, leave a comment. I want to see, you know, what team you guys want to do, like want me to rebuild next. I completely forgot what I was going to say. I've been doing that a lot recently. I should probably work on that right yeah so that's about it guys i hope you enjoyed the video i'll catch you all next time peace